Hi everybody, it's Monday, is it Monday? Yeah, it's Monday, I like to think that. I'm still slowly making pages for these little books and this is just some stuff I did over the weekend. Made little Suffolk Puffs. What I'll do today is add some Suffolk Puffs to a page on camera, but I've made six, so like I tend to like to put three maybe on each page. And then this is a sample, now I keep everything, if you do my classes ever, You'll know I never throw anything away. And this is a sample that didn't come to anything, but it's still a really lovely surface. So I've added gimp in certain areas to this, and I'm gonna be, I won't do it today, but I am gonna be cutting some of this out and putting that in pages. So this is all my stuff um, that I keep together for the books. So there's already pages made here, um, like that one. There's some hexagons on that one. Um, this is probably me looking at this as a means of putting this all together and that being like the, the start of one book perhaps. Um, but the pages aren't even set yet, so you know I can mix and match these and move them about and change them if I want to. Um, so yeah, so what I think, and there's some more um, patchwork bits in gingham that need to go in. So I need to see actually, I didn't really check if I had another page cut out and I don't, do I? These are covers. So what I'm going to have to do, because I don't really want to cut a page out now, is add three of these puffs to one of these pages. So if this is, um, if this is a little book, if these pages are going to stay in here as book pages, I need to decide where, and my only blank page really is here. So I'll put three of them on there. I think I'll do these bright blue ones. So I need a needle. And I'll literally just tie them to the page. Um, and I've left threads on the back from when I made them. So I'll separate the threads. First one there. Get the other thread. Now there's certain things I'm doing here that I'm not really verbalising. Again, because I don't want anything to cross over from my classes because um, obviously they've paid for that. But I will say that leaving a knot on the back of the page never causes me any angst because it's evidence of the hand, it's evidence that somebody's took the time to do this and really that's a huge part of what I'm all about. So. I mean, it might not take me long to do this, but the fiddle and the time, which don't get me wrong, I love fiddling. Fiddling is uh, something that I do like a lot, even if I am all fingers and thumbs a lot of the time. But it's the making of these and the pressing of the cloth and, you know, that takes time. And I mean, I'm sure if you're reading this blog, you probably do embroider and you know that, but people don't realise, do they? It's not just a case of sitting down and stitching. You've got your cloth to select, you've got to press it, you've got to cut it to the right size. <coughs> you know, there's all that prep that goes into it that people don't realise, unless they actually do it. So I've one more, and then that's just a little page put together. I actually, <clears throat> slightly feel like I might be uh, dragging my heels a bit with these but the thing is I'm getting a lot of pleasure from doing this page now it's really relaxing it's a nice little relaxing thing to do and if I was consciously trying to bang them out you know what I mean like a production line it wouldn't be like that and I really, really try to avoid anything like that anyway. So for me, all this is all about pleasure. 
and that's what it should be about for you there. So there's three on there. They kind of all snug together and an advantage of this to me is the knots on the back. That's something that I actually find very, very pleasing. So, oops. So if I, I want to put that needle away properly because if I don't, you can bet your life I'll stand on it. There, so that's how they look there. So if I was to get the rest of these pages, so, so far this one, I think I need another double page and another double spread. So that's how this one looks. Might need something in here that's a bit bland, it's just prints. There. There. So that's how that one's looking at the moment and if it had its front cover on, which is here, I need to cut more paper. So you can see it's not very substantial yet, it needs another double page spread. But so that is how it would look. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that little chat.